guys welcome back to my channel presence of a goddess thank you guys for joining me today today's just gonna be a quick message for the tribe so if it resonates awesome i appreciate if you subscribe like and share to those who you think can resonate too i do appreciate you tribe and if you want to book a personal read with me the information is down below and if you want to donate to the channel it is highly appreciated thank you all for booking and donating to the channel it is highly appreciated i love you guys and thank you just for your support a like a comment a subscribe it's always appreciated as well um, so this is going to be based off of the post i wrote today you know of course when you write in it's too much to write so it's like i wanted to do a video 111 yeah so this is the right thing to do a spiritual awakening you could be going through a deep deep spiritual awakening this could even be an, an initiation here this could be some type of high level stuff here okay you're becoming um high rank here um i know i've been saying that for the past couple months but this could be the high rank i've been talking about that you could have been getting prepared for this high rank here okay for some of you guys you're still going through the dark night of the soul or some some type of preparation do not stop going through it okay because it's going to pay off you're going to start understanding why things have happened to you and you're also being led to get deeper information um it's like a rabbit hole okay i'm getting that so you could be reading more information and you're like why why am i being interested in this stuff and it could be because spirit is trying to reveal some things to you especially because it's a big a spiritual warfare here okay the light and the dark but the thing is the message i'm getting here is that the light is getting stronger by the day of course you know the earth is based on fallen angels here so it was easy for the dark to overcome the light being as though this is the devil's playground but we came to claim the light here we came to claim what was rightfully ours and this is we are god's children here okay the most high the light and the light is overcoming the dark because the light is realizing that they're more powerful than the dark okay the only reason why the dark was powerful is because the light did not recognize their light all right, a lot of people were um, not recognizing the light in them. But now we're all waking up to it and the tribes are meeting up and they're coming together. This is why you're being led away from some of your social circles. You know, we have to get comfortable with the uncomfortable at this time. Just because you're familiar with someone does not mean that they're meant to be in your life forever. Because if they're being influenced by the dark, then you have to leave them if you're seeking the light. Because if you are entertaining them you'll be easily influenced by the dark you cannot have one foot in and one foot out this is why it's very very um important if you're watching me you may hear some things that you may not agree because you're still probably looking into the dark that's what i'm getting here as well i'm also getting the energy here where um the message the download i was getting in my recent spiritual awakening because i know what i said on my facebook if you want to follow me i was saying depression is just you holding back from evolving and you know my my soul tribe was like it could also be a spiritual attack the only reason it will be a spiritual attack is when the enemy knows that you're trying to evolve that's when they will attack you this is why it's easy for you to be attacked if you're still entertaining the dark okay and I'm not perfect because I was still in the energy of entertaining the darker. Okay, you could be a Virgo here, Leo, Pisces, Sagittarius. Um, that's, a, that's the message I wanted to say because you have to figure out which side are you going to be on, the light or the dark. You can sit here and you can say, oh, I'm of light, I'm of this. But are you doing what the light consists you of doing? And I'm not going to, I don't have a rule book on what the light is doing. This is the download I'm getting to give y'all because your ancestors want you to know this. They've been giving me a lot of downloads that I had to learn myself recently. It was like, <laughs> y'all remember that live I did and I said, I'm getting so many downloads. It's overwhelming. It was to the point where I had to take a break because I had to write and I had to really think and contemplate and rest. And I'm a, I have a lot of Pisces placements, so I get a lot of messages in my dreams. So those were the things I had to sit down and really interpret. So that's the energy I'm getting here is you have to sit down and you have to interpret your dreams. Not just sit up here and, and ask everybody else. It's time for you to go within. It's time for you to do your research. I can take you to the water. I cannot make you drink. 
So for some of y'all who be in my inbox, what does this mean? What does that mean? I don't mind helping, but also you can buy, you can purchase a reading if you, cause some of y'all be trying to get, get information for free. Okay. If I didn't bring it up and even if I did bring it up, I just led you to the water. You need to research. And I'm not saying that to be a meanie, okay? But y'all not going to sit up here and say, oh, Brietta told me, no, 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 no. I gave you the tea, put the sugar in it, okay? That's it, <laughs> put the honey in it, the sugar in it, whatever you like in your tea, okay? But, um, yeah, so it's kind of like that. You guys need to set boundaries as well because a lot of people are overstepping it. Even if they don't, don't take nothing personal because some people don't know that they're overstepping their boundaries. Some people just don't know no better, you know what I'm saying? And that's okay, but make sure you let them know. You know what I'm saying? So don't be no misunderstandings. But I'm also getting the energy. You're going to have to leave some of your social circles because they are of dark here. Whether they're doing it intentionally or not, you cannot have your foot out in one and then out in the other. I'm not saying what you need to do. I'm not saying, oh, you got to be this. You got to. Because I don't claim myself to be a Christian. I don't claim myself. I don't label myself to any religion. I'm very spiritual. Okay. Your heart has to be pure. Okay. But you cannot entertain people who are not trying to do their best if their heart is not on the right thing if their heart is not to do the right thing then it's probably you cannot get drunk every night turn up every night you're not showing nobody a good example you see god up in there getting drunk and twerking you don't and i know i'm gonna ruffle some some feathers here listen you cannot do what you don't want your daughter to do. You cannot do what you don't want your son to do. You cannot be a hypocrite. You have to be an example for the next generation, for the souls that are lost. You cannot be a lost soul leading a lost soul. You cannot. The light versus the dark. The dark is trying to portray as the light. They're trying to say, oh, it's okay to do this. Everybody else doing it. That's when you do the opposite. That's why I stick to myself. Because they will try to conform you. If the government find out that you're not doing what everybody else is doing, they're going to try to send someone. To. If it's not the government, it's definitely the enemy, the dark. It will try to send someone. They will send someone in a nice, beautiful package or whatever your weakness is, could be a beautiful bottle of drink because somebody's an alcoholic. It's time for you to get honest. Somebody likes a lot of sex. It's time to get, what would you do for this sex? What would you do for these drugs? You have to be stronger than what they're trying to do to you. You have to be the light. In order to be the light, you have to purify yourself. Purify yourself from the social circle. Purify your body. Purify whatever is your addiction, whatever causes you to be triggered, whatever tempers you. And let me tell you, it's usually the people that's closest to you that know all your secrets and they're telling everybody your secret. That's why it's not good to gossip. Because when you tell people your secrets or when you show people who you are that is not of the same, that's why it's good to use your discernment, of the same energy as you, they're going to use it against you. That's manipulation. That's dark magic. Light magic is when you try to help someone, to elevate someone. You use their weaknesses to help strengthen them. You speak positivity in them. Those are the type of people you need to be around. Not people who is influencing you to do the wrong thing all the time they see you. Oh, let's go out. Let's go out here and do this, girl. Let's go out here and do this. Oh, the kids watching, that's okay. They don't shit in front of your kids. They they're doing shit to your kids. They speaking nothing but negativity to your kids. Even if they don't, even if they are, their souls are hurt. You can be a role model from afar. But let me tell you, it's the social circuit. The people that's close to you is the ones that's doing that magic. I know from firsthand, okay? I come from these people who were doing dark magic on me since I was three, okay? They sacrifice people. Those people I had to run away from. People don't know my story. Baby, I'm going to write a book about it. But let me tell you something. You might look at me and you might say, oh, I'm crazy. But I've been through some shit. And the reason I've been through some shit is because of this video. Because I'm letting you know. Stop being naive to society. Stop thinking that everybody that smiles at you is your friend. It's the light versus the dark. And the dark is going to portray to be the light to defeat the light. So that's all I have to tell you guys. So whenever you do go through these attacks, you need to sit back and observe why. Why am I going through this? Who, who's in my circle? 
Who am I giving too much energy to? Even if you did cut them off, are you steady thinking about them? Are you steady putting energy? You're not sending it. You sent that back to sender, but why you keep thinking about it? Why is it triggering you? Because you got to heal from it. When you heal from it, it can't bother you no more. When you cut those ties, it cannot bother you no more. It's time for the light to really protect yourselves and to strengthen your weaknesses, to strengthen your mind and to get your armor on. All right, say your prayers, talk to spirit and get close to your ancestors at this time. All right, and stay away from people who drain you. Stay away from people who badly influences you or enhances your weaknesses instead of strengthening them. Instead, they, they want you to be weak. And the thing is though, what, what's crazy about it, the people who want you to be weak is the ones that you hang out with and I'm not saying all of them is like that, but you'll be surprised. And then you looking around, you're like, who you getting paranoid? Because when you get paranoid like that, honey, you're either in denial or you know who the people are. You feel it, but it's the people around you. When you're looking around at your circle and you're it's chaos magic they're throwing. It's it's too many illusions because they're right in your face, but they're confusing you to make you think it's someone outside of your circle. No, but you still in my circle. I'm telling y'all, I've been through this. I know what I'm talking about. It's the light versus the dark at this time. And it's getting very heavy. Strengthen yourself. You cannot say, oh, I'm I'm of light here, but you're, you're having a sex addiction. You want to mess with everybody that you meet. You want to engage with people that just smiles in your face. And I'm not saying this to be nasty to you. Because I had, I went through that. I went through plenty of addictions. And I overcame them. And you can do that too. When I went through those addictions, it was easy to influence me. It was easy to attack me. And you know, when you leave out of that circle of addictions and of being in the dark side and being easily influenced and letting these people attack you, it doesn't just go away fast. You have to learn how to strengthen yourself because when you get out of that circle, you're still weak. You're still having to strengthen yourself. It took me a long time to get to where I am mentally, physically, and spiritually. Okay? The first time I did celibacy, I think I only lasted like two, three months. Now I'm going almost to a year. Okay? And I don't mind going longer. Energy don't lie, but people do. Okay? I don't know who needs to hear this. But it's time for you to break those addictions, break those habits, and break... Those mindset, your mindset needs to change. Embrace the mindset change. These people don't want you to change your mindset. They don't want you to shift your perspective because they want you to think the same way so that they can easily still manipulate you and control you. Spiritual awakening. There's a spiritual awakening. Make your mind up. Are you with the light or are you with the dark? Are you with the light or are you with the dark? Protect yourself. You are protected, but you got to call on your ancestors. You got to call on God. You got to call on him. That's the only way. He can't help you if you like, hey, God, I need help. But I'm going to go over here real quick. I'm going to go into the dark side real quick. I'll be right back. I need help. No, he needs you to stay still. And for some of you guys, this could be staying still, hermit mode. Leave the circle. Don't go back to it. I just say, oh, okay, I, I just, I stopped talking to her. But I'm not going to stop talking to her even though they're doing the same thing to you. Yeah, hypocrites. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't tell people to be of the light and you're in the dark or you got one foot in, one foot out. You cannot do that. And I'm not judging nobody because we've been through a lot of things here. All of us have been. But where is your heart is? Where is your heart? Okay? You can't say, you can't be like, um, because you know, we all on sippy sip, we all on, but you can't mess with all these people and then say, who doing all this magic on? I, that's why you can't drink every night and then say, who's doing all this to me? You allowing them to do this to you if you're not protecting your temple, your secrecy. If you're not protecting your mind, you're not being, you are got to be self-aware, okay? And you have to put your boundaries up and you have to hold yourself up to here. You, you guys definitely need to read uh, the four agreements as well. Yeah, projection, because there's a whole lot of projection going on. You know how you get around someone, let's say you haven't drank in months, but when you get around this one person, all of a sudden you want to drink. And what a coincidence, they're drunk or they drink a lot every day. That's not your energy. You have to be familiar with your energy. 
okay? And you have to heal from your energy. Heal from that, the negative part. Because I was brainwashed, guys, since I was a kid. Thinking certain things that I shouldn't be thinking. Thinking negative things. You know what I'm saying? Being badly influenced. And then you think that's okay because you're used to it. But it's time for you to get honest with yourself. Is it of light? Is it of God? Is it of the most high? Is it this my higher self or am I hindering myself? You, sometimes we blame in other people, but we are allowing other people to manipulate us because we're manipulating ourselves. You have to be of light. And that's why they say self-love is the best love. Because when you love yourself, you would not put up with, with, with negativity on yourself, what you speak out of your mouth, and what people do to you. Okay, because when you abuse yourself, you, you allow other people to abuse you as well. I'm telling you, this light and dark is very hectic here. You have to learn how to balance it. And to be honest with you guys, you have to be more of light than dark. And dark does not have to be just you hurting people. But when you hurt yourself, that can be a form of darkness. When you hurt yourself, you're allowing darkness to hurt you. Trust me, I had to learn that. I allow people to hurt me because I was hurting myself because I thought, oh, I, I should be hurt or I was brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to unlearn what we think is okay. Okay. It's time to heal what we, because sometimes we say we're healed of something, but we only face it a little bit and then we go back in our corner where we're comfortable at. No, it's time for you to cry, cry, cry. Every I don't care if every day you fail at it. You need to put one foot closer to healing. It's not going to happen overnight. But where's your intentions? Sometimes you got to go cold turkey if you want to follow God's way. If you want to follow your higher self. Because some of you guys don't believe in God. I'm not going to judge you. That's cool. I mean, I've witnessed some miracles. <laughs> Let me tell you. Not everybody is chosen. And I know people be hating when I say that. But not everybody is chosen. That's why I don't have that many subscribers. Or many followers or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because they don't want to hear this shit. They want me to sit up here and they want me to be like, oh, yes, you have to. I'm not like that. I'm going to keep it real with you because that's how God made me. Okay? I'm not a fallen angel. I'm not here to trick you. All right? And you know how they say Oracle, Oracle was made by divination, blah, 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 blah. This is a new day and age here, okay, where we can communicate to God. God is communicating with us in the whole, all different types of ways, okay? He communicates with us in our dreams through cards from our ancestors. It is what it is, especially if your ancestors is of high light. Of course, he's going to talk to us. Some of you guys may be scared of that, and that's okay. But I've used my discernment. I know I'm a white light. I know who I'm talking to. And when I feel like I'm not talking to someone, I know somebody's playing in my energy. And I know how to cleanse it. If you don't know how to do all of that, of course, it's going to be some type of darkness you're going to attract. Because you, you don't know who you're playing with. Y'all witnessed some supernatural shit when I was on live. Phone falling shit, lights going out. Y'all y'all know that people was playing in my energy, but I'm not scared. I'm not a punk. I know how to cleanse my energy and I know how to rebuke that and God will restore me. All right. When you are fighting, when you're battling with the dark, you have to be ready. You can't sit up here. God needs you to be a soldier. Okay. If you want to help other people to join you, to join the light, you're going to have to be as Moses, Jesus, Noah. You're going to have to be ready. You're going to have to be ready. When God talks to you, when he tells you to move, you're going to have to move. So this is why. This is why everybody does not get picked. Because some of y'all, some of y'all be scared. When God tell you to do something, you do it halfway. God needs you to go full armor. He needs you to do it. He needs you to be like, what's up? I moved all the way across the country. F fleeing from people who was trying to set me up and kill me. And probably still trying to kill me to this day. I know they know where, where I'm at probably by now. But still, when God said move, I'm supposed to be dead right now, y'all. I'm supposed to be dead. But I'm not. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Period. And this is why I'm able to tell y'all this story. Because coming from a real soldier of God, of the most high, of the light. Baby, I went through some dark ass shit. But you got to get through the dark to get to the light. And this is why you went through what you went through. All right, you're in the dark right now, but now it's time for you to get to the light. 
You know what dark look like. So you will never have to go through that shit again. But you cannot sit in the dark and say, oh, I'm in the light. No, you're not. You got to get up and get out of the dark to turn on a light. Turn on a light. But it has to be you getting up to do it. God ain't going to make you do it. God going to show you some shit in the dark. But you're going to have to get up and get turn on the light. So that's all the message I have for y'all because... I don't know. I feel guided. I feel like some big shit about to happen after this Mercury retrograde. It's it's beautiful stuff, but it's it's in, in order for you to get this beautiful stuff, you have to get up and find your light. And I don't just mean through people, through situations, through you. You gotta find that light through you. You are the light. Heal yourself. Heal what them people them people was doing to you. Them situations was doing to you. Heal that reflect i got through this what else can i get through you can get through many don't let the illusions of this negative ass world conflict you of the blessings that's waiting for you because you want to sit in the dark or you want to have one foot in and one foot out you cannot do that you have to face it why am i doing this why am i acting like this why is these people being why and they remove it remove it it's sometimes it's not easy to remove something but it's easy to remove you. It's easy to remove something in you that's connected to that situation. I'm telling these people, they've been doing magic on me since I was three. Okay? And by the grace of God, within six months, I'm starting to see things. Like brighter things in my life. God can change your life in a matter of a day if you really wanted him to. What you gonna do? You gonna stay in the dark? Or you gonna come to the light? Come talk with your girl. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's all I have for y'all. I felt like I was led to. Sorry if this this was lengthy, but I needed y'all to hear this because some of y'all been playing in the dark for too long. It's time to get to the light. You cannot wait for your blessings in the dark. Gonna have to get up. Love you guys. <laughs>